Okay, this is part two, YouTube. Because you limit me to 10 minutes in the video. And it tends to be very loquacious. If I had 12 minutes, it'd be one video. Come on. Uh, anyway. Now we're basically done. Now that you have found the associated month code, because you have memorized all of them, YouTube, January is one. Keep that in your head. Wait. Yeah, that's how they... Now. Okay, uh, this is something you have to know. Something else you have to memorize, but there's a pattern. So this is easy. When you get the answer, it's going to be between 0 and 6. And that's going to be a day of the week. And you have to know what each number means in the system that we've worked at. So, 0 is Saturday. 1 is Sunday. 2 is Monday, 3 is Tuesday, 4 is Wednesday, 5 is Thursday, 6 is Friday. And it keeps on repeating like that until, well, it doesn't stop at all. Um, so now that you have that, we're going to know what the answer means when we, when we do it now, which is actually the highlight of the video. Mm -hmm. Okay, step four, calculate the day of the week. Um, I don't like saying um on video. Okay, here we go. The formula, day of the week. I abbreviated it to safe space. D O T W. You like that? Thank you. Um, so in this example, it would be this is the formula, the day of the week, once you have all these numbers that I figured out, the year code plus the month code plus the calendar date. So when I say calendar date, I mean the numeric date. It's going to be like 1 to 31. So, you know, it's January 15th and it's going to be 15. It's October 15th, it's going to be 15. But I think you get it by now. So we have. It looks like in this example, I did one step in my head. I'm sorry, YouTube, if it's confusing to you. Let me just immediately fix that. There we go. Okay, there we go. Now, what we do is we just plug in the numbers. So your code would be three. It's 2015, month code is 1, the calendar date is 15, then you do that stupid mod 7 thing again, once you add those all up, so it was, uh, that's 19, 15 plus 3 plus 1, so 19 mod 7, uh, it's, so take away multiples of 7, so 19 minus 7 minus 7, or 19 minus 14 is 5. Which, if you look at her, I'm not gonna dig it out. The uh, the coding five is Thursday, and you have successfully calculated the day of the week in your in your head. It takes a bit of practice before you can do it quickly, like in a couple of seconds. But once you could, it's kind of cool. But like I said in the beginning, not to be used as a pickup line. at all, not in any situation. It's not gonna help, hey baby, what day were you born on? No, wait, it's, it just doesn't work. If you can pull it off, then please put the video on YouTube, videotape the damn thing. Uh, here's a couple of tips that might help you. Um, when you're, cal in step two, when you're calculating the 
the year, the year code. You're dealing with a lot of big numbers. So say it's like 20, if it was January 1st, 2065. That would suck. That would suck. So you would take away multiples of 28 to save time. So there's only a few of them, at least like within this context. So there would be 28, 56, and 84. Simple. So say you're doing 2060, you take away 56 and have four. And boom, you save some time. Then uh, on leap year, so this is just a little footnote. If it's a leap year, and a leap year is pretty much, there's a few exceptions, but I'm not going to, I'll let you go into those in the comments and just call me an idiot. But uh, anyway, uh, leap years typically fall on uh, every, every four years. So 2000, 2004, 2008, 2012, 2016. Um, if the date that you're calculating is a leap year and also falls on January or February, so like say February 2nd, uh, 2016, or January uh, 15th, 2012, you would just take away one from the final answer to make up for it. Yeah, that's it. That's about all I have. Um, I have a bunch of other cool stuff that I can do. Um, I'm, not, I'm not gonna. <clears throat> I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna cough because I just did that. Uh, I'll, next time I'll show you how to within a couple of minutes. Memorize a whole deck of cards easily and repeat them back. And this this is epic. Um, you can find other other videos of that this one you can see. But I've got a very simple way that no one else has, and it's cool. Uh, I'm going to be putting that up once I have 150 thousand views. Uh, so a couple of weeks, months, maybe. Uh, see you then, YouTube. Hope you enjoyed the the video. Remember, don't use it as a pickup line.